Alright guys, welcome back to more PS6 Master League. Today we are taking on Manchester City and we are away for this one. So in the last episode we was also away and it didn't go quite right at Valencia. They were just too much for us to handle. But we're back in the league today and but I'm thinking quite heavily about Europe now. Because it was a massive eye opener the last one. And um, today we're fielding a weakened team, and we're going to go with our normal formation that we usually do. But for Dortmund in midweek, I ain't so sure about it. I'm thinking possibly four at the back. Don't know. Vicente is going to captain the team today, and he is going to play. He's on red form. He's going to go to that left side of the midfield. I know I took him off in the last one, but to be honest, his rating should otherwise. Why well, should shouldn't have maybe not taken him off? So yeah, Saviola and De Santos start up front today. So yeah, I'm giving a start to De Santos because I'm I'm concerned about Europe, and that's why I've gone with him. So yeah, uh, Saviola was on red form. Um, the thing is, I'm thinking of playing it. Oh, hello. Over. Oh, I'm thinking of playing. Um, oh, what's his name? Um, a bon Lahore in the uh, in the next European game against Dortmund coming up, uh, and the reason for that is oh, where's that off to? <laughs> uh, the reason for that is um, I don't know. Well, he's fast and he's good, and he's probably the second best striker on the team at the moment. To be honest, um, you know what I mean. Like he's uh, been grabbing goals left, right, and centre. So kind of want to play him, don't I? Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's going to be our corner. Hookstra takes. No header there. And there's Mbami. And that's really good by Mbami. Oh, and it's what With a chip, of all things. It needed just to be struck, that one. Yeah, Wass is the AMF today. We got uh, Mafio in the DMF. Oh, that was nearly to De Santos, that. Um, uh, Mbami uh, also in DMF. And that's a really good ball to De Santos. And it's got to be a goal. It's still De Santos. Oh. That is so unfortunate. Hookstra pops it into the middle there. Oh, it's through there. For everyone. Manchester City of 13th in the league, by the way, which is one of the reasons. Hookstra. What a save. Oh. De Santos hits the bar. It's unbelievable. He's got two goals to his name this season. One in the... Uh, Cup and one in the um, one in one in the league that was against Newcastle early on this season. We should have had a goal there. That is just so unfortunate, isn't it? I don't know. Like I really do not know against Dortmund in midweek. I am panicking about it. I really am. It's not often that we worry, but we're only on four points, and it will be the fourth game. And Dortmund gave us trouble last time. Um, so yeah, it's not proving to be easy Europe at all. It really isn't. So, and one of the, one of the, one of the things is that um, oh, that's gone out for a uh, corner. Is that so? We do play um, Valencia on the final day as well. So of of match day six in the Champions League, of course. So. Uh, that's something that I'm a little bit concerned about at this point. So yeah. Here's Saviola taking off the ball there. Oh, maybe not. Here's Saviola. Oh, it's a good effort. And we're still there. That's got to be a goal. Yes! Assist by De Santos. It was too easy, that one, for uh, Saviola. Come on, boys. We're still there in the league, though. We're still there. Manchester City not having a good time of it. They're uh, near the bottom of the league at the moment. That was too easy. Just had to time the pass right. Wait for um, Saviola to get back onside. He does right there. And he's got that space. And, uh, uh, well, they're number 15 there. I don't know where he was heading off to. But, uh, yeah, that's 1-0. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit gutted that De Santos didn't get the goal, to be honest. But um, yeah, he is there and um, he's ready to 
go if need be. The thing is, I was I know I've got um, Aguero, but like I say, I want to rest up Aguero for Europe just in case. In case we need him, you you don't know. Cause really, I like to go based on form. So if he's on red form and like Bon Lahore is on green, possibly, then I'd probably go with Aguero, maybe ahead of him. But to be honest, I'm also I'm I'm can't I think Bon Lahore's speed is actually a little better. Um, Dan Maguire's, I think, or it's just about the same. But the way Agbon bon the has been playing, I kind of want to go with Agbon the to be honest, in Europe in midweek. So I'm not too sure yet. So I'm just going to rest them anyway, both of them, in case. Um, but yeah, his dick off. And he is definitely going to put that wide here to Balanos. Matthew, yeah, so like Skater was taking a rest, like Maldini, as you can see, he is in there today. Oh yeah, Vandenboy's at the back as well. We got uh, Rossi, Maldini and Vandenboy, so like three kind of young players there. We've pretty much got like youngish players all over the field today. Um, just because I want to I wanna rest up the main team. And that's a very good ball to Saviola. Saviola, yes! Second goal. And he hit that with his right foot, really. He had to take it with his left, but uh, didn't need to in the end. Excellent work. Could even be the case that he might come off at half-time, but the only problem is, if I do bring him off, we don't really have anybody else who I would not consider for midweek to replace him with. So, not too short. That was excellent. Little turn there. Cuts in. And then, bang. Excellent work there. 2-0 to the good. And, uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. I'm kind of, I'm really, I'm glad we picked up DeSantos on that final day now. Because he is, he is actually proving handy at this moment in time. Um, you know what I mean? He might have not done a lot for us. But he looks good. And uh, that's what I ask of him. And that's off target. Oh yeah, Krul is in goal today, by the way. I haven't mentioned that. Cruel is actually in goal today. He is on an orange form. Carini was on green so far. You know, I'm just going to rest him for midweek. And Kush Kush I don't even know what Kushak was on, to be honest. But I figured, like, Cruel is on... Oh, wow. Uh, Cruel is on um, orange. I may as well go with him today. It's, just, it's all about our youth out there today, <laughs> pretty much. Apart from, like, Saviola. Um, I think Abami's, like, 20... Is he 28 or something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, Vicente is like, I think, is he 30? I can't remember, to be honest. And Cruel gets to that one, but it is offside. Um, Saviola's, I think, 27, isn't he? Uh, Mafio, I think he... Oh, I don't know how old he is, actually, now. I have to get back to you on that one. But that is half-time. That is looking good from us. All right, and we're off again. So, yeah, they've had one shot, and it was off target. So, yeah, we've had ten shots, six of them on target. Cool. I always look for that stat these days now. Rossi deals with that one. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Rossi... Ooh, that's going nowhere. I don't think Rossi will be... I mean, to be honest, the, the players that are playing this match right now are pretty much not going to be playing... Um, in the uh, in the Dortmund game, pretty much, pretty much. Here's Matthew Mills, and that's given back. Oh, it was given back to Saviola for a split moment. Here's Balanos. Saviola's looking for an hat trick to do it. He's proving why. Oh, why we should not have got rid of him for sure. And I'm kind of, to be honest, at this moment in time, I'm kind of glad that I kept hold of Saviola. So yeah, here's Was. Oh, he's done well there. Oh, this is like Walcott-esque. <laughs> Just running through everyone. Walcott is actually on the bench. You know what I was thinking? Um, oh, this isn't good. Vassell. Fandom Ball's back. Was, um, I wish that I played Urbina on the, um, on the left in that Valencia game. Now, I really did wish I did that because he's got the pace. 
and whatnot. And I've been that's where I've usually been playing him just recently. He did get himself a goal actually against West Ham the other week. Um, so that would have been something. Oh, and this releases De Santos, but he's got to beat this man. Is he going to run out of time? Oh, it's De Santos. Oh, effort. I don't know if it was on target or not. I think it might have been. They sent it. Whipped in. Headers off target. Now, Walcott can play up front, so I'm thinking of bringing. Um, what's his name off? Um, Saviola. I'm not too sure yet, though, to be honest. It might be a thing that happens. I don't know. Is De Santos is going to lose the ball there? Um, um, but the thing is, with Saviola being on red form, it's actually really good for us there. And this is really, really bad. Oh, it's uh, it's it, the, the chance has gone now anyway. But uh, yeah, I don't know about bringing Eddie Walker on up front. And uh, Mills shoves De Santos off the ball, and a free kick is given there. Um, Barnetta is going to come on for Hookstra though, because Hookstra's stamina is getting low, so just trying to keep things leveled out really. Mafia with the free kick duty to do, and uh, I would say probably about maybe there might be good. Oh, we won't know now. I'm trying to do the kale on it, but yeah. It is Vicente here, and he's won as a corner. And the header is off target. And it's De Santos. And it's for centre. And he's trying to weave forward, and that's out of play for hours. Uh, throw in. And it's De Santos with a little. Ah, oh, I didn't get a chance to turn. Sunji high here. Mertens to Balanos. This is pretty difficult here. Bit tricky. It's out of the box now. And uh, we've got a chance on the counter. If this works out, it is De Santos who can't take on any of the men there. And uh, Saviola is going to come off in a moment, by the way, if I haven't uh, I haven't mentioned that just yet. This is a really good opportunity for Mafia. Oh, no. His chance has gone. Oh, that's unbelievable. It's Balanos. Oh, that's not going to go through. And another counter could be on here if we play our cards right. Oh, that's a lovely ball to uh, Barnetta. He's got to keep it up, though. Which he does. Oh, the ball was not played in right. So, yeah, uh, and Bami is switched positions with um, Wasp, but that is because uh, Nuri Sahin is coming on for Bami in a minute. And... Uh, yeah, Wasp can play centre of, mid of midfield, so that's what's happening there. And the ball, and cruel, and it's off target, and that could have been a goal. And it probably should have been. Mm, I think Cruel kind of did the right thing there, but he just didn't get um, the ball. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. It's Dos Santos. Oh, no. Oh, I really want him to get another goal. And he's been unlucky today. That's the full-time whistle. Never mind. I'm kind of disappointed Dos Santos didn't get one there. But Saviola was amazing. Um, 
And again, like I say, we fielded a weakened team and we won the game. We could have had more, but yeah. So yeah, I think, what what did we have? We had 10 shots, I think, by half time, didn't we? We ended up with 14 altogether. So we only had four shots in that second half and none of them were on target. So, yeah. Um, Saviola had to be the man of the match today. I think De Santos did really well. He got an assist. It was a fairly average game for the rest of them. It was really just Saviola and De Santos um, that stood out. It was Saviola more so than De Santos. But, yeah, um, good decent game so here is a fixture 14 results guys Aston Villa and Fulham were 1-1 one, one. Uh, Arsenal and uh, Newcastle was 2-1 to Arsenal and that was away from home Bolton also won away from home they're 3-2 over Everton uh, Manchester United also won away 3-1 uh, over uh, Tottenham Blackburn went at home against Wigan 3-2 West Ham beat Liverpool 2-1 to uh, put some more pressure up at the top. Uh, Chelsea um, went to Middlesbrough and won 2-1 as well. So, just one game away now from the halfway stage. And, uh, yeah, United are second. No changes in the top half, actually, this week. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, United, and then it's Chelsea, and then it's West Ham. Um, so, you know what? Either West Ham or Chelsea could still, like be second by the halfway stage to be honest i think it's going to be united honestly at the, at the halfway stage that'll be in second but west ham having a right season and a half honestly they're five points clear of arsenal at this point but arsenal they were like hanging around 10th all season in fact i think they finished up in 11th last season didn't they so they're having a much better time of it i don't know who they signed during the summer but whatever they've done is uh, working out a lot better now uh Liverpool still remain 6, Middlesbrough 7th and Aston Villa 8th, moving down to the bottom half of the uh, table. Uh, we've got uh, Newcastle still dead last on 7 points. Uh, Manchester City have dropped down 1 place with that defeat today, but Wigan are still in the drop zone in 15th right now. So we return to the Champions League action in the uh, midweek and... Uh, to start us off there in Group A, we've got United against Juventus and uh, Chelsea and Barca. I think it's pretty, still pretty close in that group, isn't it, if I recall correctly. So yeah, in Group B, we got Valencia and Bayer Leverkusen. We really could do with a draw there. That, in fact, yeah, a draw would do there, to be honest. Or a Leverkusen win at the very minimum, considering that we beat Dortmund. Because to be honest, Bayer Leverkusen won their last game. So, yeah, Valencia are top of the group on seven points, and we're second on four. Leverkusen, I think, are on three, and Dortmund, I think, bottom with, is it two? Something like that, if, if I remember correctly. Um, AC Milan and Inter, we've got a derby there in uh, Group C. We've got Schalke at home to Roma as well. Uh, in Group D, we've got PSV, who are top of that group at the moment, aren't they? I think they've got, like, is it six points, something like that. They're against Bayern. They're on fire, PSV. And uh, Real Madrid are away at Villarreal. So, uh, yeah, guys. In the next one, we're away at Dortmund. I'm really, really nervous about this fixture. Really nervous. But we've had a good game today. We've prepared for it the right way. And hopefully the team selection will, will show some good form from a lot of our players. And hopefully we can implement those players into beating Dortmund. Whether or not I change the formation or not, I don't know at this point. I really need to think about it. I'm thinking of just keeping it the same, maybe. Because last time we played Dortmund, we played well. But we just didn't take our chances and it ended up being 1-1. So I'm thinking of just going for the same thing. But just playing all of our best players in the right areas this time. And not taking any gambles like I did in the last one. So, yeah. Edging towards not changing it. We'll see. If it's not broken, don't try and fix it. So in the next episode, we'll be taking on Dortmund. Please do comment, subscribe, and share as always, guys. And I will see you next time for the Dortmund game. Take care.